Hey, I'm Brian Bays. I'm the uh, county attorney here in Carter County. And I'm Anna Bays. I'm a nurse practitioner at King's Daughters Medical Center. We have a, uh, a family history of uh, heart issues. We Grandpa's had open heart, dad's had open heart. And uh, uh, Abby Beck, who's a nurse practitioner here, had been telling us about this calcium score test. Uh, my brother went and had it done and it led him to a cardiologist and he wound up actually having triple bypass from it. So, of course, Abby is uh, on to me to get it done. And uh, uh, we went and got it checked and uh, I wound up seeing a cardiologist the next day. I was aware that he had a family history of coronary artery disease. So the calcium score gave us an indication that he had a blockage within his LAD. And so then whenever it was further investigated, he, he identified a 90% um, blockage of the LAD. And so that meant that he needed to have some type of intervention done to prevent a heart attack. The way I understand the test, it, you want a zero and 400, it means you're in a trouble range and my score was 964. I was very surprised. Um, I felt a little guilty because I'm a nurse practitioner and I really did not see these classic signs and symptoms. I had noticed he was maybe a little more fatigued than usual, but nothing out of the ordinary because he does have a really stressful job. Um, but I can't remember him ever having the classic chest clutching, you know, pain. I helped coach my daughter's travel softball team and I talked to Abby. I said, Abby, I need to put this off till the end of July so I can go to nationals. And when they got my score back, that cardiologist told me, he said, you're not gonna be here at the end of July if you don't get this done. The Widowmaker, which I understand has a uh, more scientific name. Um, LAD, the LAD, LAD anterior descending. Uh, had a 90 plus percent blockage. After his CT screening, we made a referral to Dr. White. Um, Dr. White then further evaluated Brian and after he discovered he was true, he truly had a blockage, then he took him to the cardiac catheterization lab, identified that he did have a 90% blockage of his left anterior descending. And then Dr. Kahn completed an angioplasty of the LAD and then the blockage is gone. And he said, watch when we release this, you're gonna see the blood flow over your heart the next time it pumps. And it did. It was. I mean, it was. It was very fascinating to watch. You know, that's a. That's a rude awakening when you're laying there and you've got a 13 year old and a nine year old. You, you're like, hey, I'm dad. I got to be here. This test is for patients who have a family history of coronary artery disease and a high likelihood of coronary artery disease. Now, those are the patients we want to capture. It's a screening, just like a mammogram is a screening for cancer. This is a screening for heart disease. I think with him, it really opened my eyes. Not everybody's going to have those classic symptoms that you expect them to have when they're having a cardiac event. So that's why I think this calcium scoring test is, I think it's way more important than people realize. I did a social media post about the uh, calcium screening test and uh, um, I've had people come up to me in the grocery store or on the street and say, hey, I, I got that test because of what you put on social media. Um, I did not think that I was a candidate for a heart attack. Um, you know, it just came up, but it's, it's quick, it's painless. Um, uh, it's easy to get scheduled and if, if nothing else for peace of mind uh, that you know if you've got kids you need to be there for them and this is one of the things that you can do to, that would encourage a longer life and a better life better quality of life for not only you but for your family also.